Stuart Carroll here from Drone Film Game, the channel where we learn to fly like filmmakers, bringing you our version of the planet zoom type drone spaceship. Then all of a sudden we're on the ground. Effect. Check this out, the introduction to Waterworld. Now, 1990 something, this film. Kevin Cosner's Waterworld. Look at this. So we have an animation of the globe here. And I've speeded up this middle section. In we go. Now, this is what's important. Look at this. All these clouds come across. And then all of a sudden, from under those clouds, we see the real time footage. I'll break that down for you a second. So we have the animation here of the globe. Looks really nice. Something quite charming about it. It's not full on kind of real life CGI type stuff. In we go. You see the ice caps are melting. Boom, clouds. That is what allows us to make the transition between animation and real time footage. We don't have a seamless transition there. We don't have two pieces of footage that blend perfectly. We need some way of obscuring it. Now what we're doing is we are blending footage from Google Earth. I'll show you that in a second, but the space footage, if you like, is from Google Earth, and we're blending that with a piece of our drone footage. So we have animated footage and real life footage. Now, unless you can get a perfect match between the two, which I can tell you now is very, very difficult to do, let's find some other way. And we're going to obscure that transition with clouds, exactly the same as was done there in the water world introduction. How cool is that? It'll make more sense when I show you now. First up, we need a piece of appropriate drone footage. Now you're going to be looking for one of those kind of rocket type pieces of drone footage where the drone just flies straight up. In this instance, we've taken a piece of footage of Alina lying on a rock there and reversed it in post-production to give us this piece of footage. Here we come in flying down. We come to a nice gentle halt in front of Alina. To get that spaceship footage, we go into Google Earth Pro. Now you can download this, it's free and it's a fantastic piece of software from Google. If you've never played around with it, prepare to lose an afternoon. It's fantastic stuff. It's free, you download it to your computer, and if we open that up now, this is our starting point. Go up to the search box and find where you took the piece of drone footage. So in our case, it was Balos Beach in Greece. Search, and this is where the magic happens. In we go, now look at this, wow. Very, very cool, if you ask me. From this point, you then scroll around, rotate around, have a look, and see if you can find the point at which you actually took off from. Now, as it happens, I didn't actually even find the exact spot. So this is where the magic of using the clouds to obscure the transition comes in, but we'll get to that in a second. So you get, roughly speaking, what you're looking for. Now, what I would suggest you do here is that if you scroll out, you'll see that we have a marker. Now, we don't want to be seeing that in the proper version. So my preferred way of doing this is to click on history here. And that actually takes you back and it gets rid of the marker. Start this all over again. Scroll in here. And let's say this is the point at which you're going to blend the drone footage. And then you click on this little pin up here and put your pin where you want it to be. Make a note of it. I shall call it example. Okay. And there we're good to go. Next up, we want to record the screen as we zoom in from outer space. On the Mac, we're going to use QuickTime. You can do screen recordings. I'm not going to go through screen recording here because it's going to be different depending on your system. But in one way, shape or form, you need a screen recorder. So set your screen recorder up so that it is now recording. Make sure that this little tick box is unticked because we don't want to see that pin. And now what we do is we just scroll all the way out. Keep going, keep going. That's grease as you can see. Rotate around just to make it a bit more fun. And from here, when I double click on example, we will now zoom in. So check this out. This is what we're recording and this is what we're going to blend with our drone footage. Double click on example, and we go, the globe rotates round. Hey, hey. That's so cool. And there we have it. That is the piece of the puzzle that we now blend with that drone footage. We're going to use Final Cut Pro to blend these two pieces of footage. Excuse my computer hissing here, the computer's working overtime. So we've dropped the two pieces of footage in. And now we want to basically play around at this transition here and see if we can find something that roughly matches. Now look at this, this doesn't even come close to matching, if I'm honest. And this is the beauty of using the clouds to obscure the transition, just like Waterworld in Hollywood in the 90s. If I just play this so we can see what we've got to start with. Okay, in we go. 
and down into Greece and bang it's not bad you can see how it's not a bad starting point you know it's, it's, <laughs> it's all right but we can we can do better first things first we're going to put a cross dissolve between the two clips let's make life a bit easier for ourselves so if we look at the transition now okay better that step alone has kind of blended those two clips that's not a bad starting point what about those clouds though let's add the clouds now we're going to drag these clouds on top of this transition and as you can see it's completely obscured the image what we do is if we go to compositing mode and change normal for screen it will get rid of all the black and it will leave the clouds in place put a cross dissolve on either side of those clouds because we want them to come in nice and smoothly we want them to fade in and fade out the trick here now is to go to town with those clouds copy and paste them all over the place as much as you desire see if you can build up the clouds to the point at which it doesn't look distracting but at the same time helps you get that water world effect so I'm going to do that now let's take a look at that now so in we go you can see the clouds come in you're getting a bit distracted the transition isn't so obvious anymore the clouds have pretty much done the job maybe we should add a few more you can play around with that depending on how good the match you have between your google earth footage and your drone footage but either way that's how we do it that's how we replicate the exact same technique that was used 20 odd years ago in that water world introduction so a couple more things we can do to tidy this up a little bit we want to make this animation look a little bit more realistic so let's add some motion blur using the zoom effect this is a zoom blur if we drag that onto the google earth footage you can see wow okay that's a bit much what we need to do is we need to cut out the center of that so it's only hitting the peripheral the periphery of the frame there so we'll add a mask and a shape mask we'll do a circle kind of globe shaped circle around here and we'll just feather that out now what we want to do is go up to here and invert that mask now look at that now you can see that the stars are being affected by the motion blur but not the earth and that's the kind of look that we're going for there let me just drag this out a bit more okay now we're talking if i switch that off look at the stars see how the stars are just little dots if i switch it back on now you can see the motion blur much better so we're done if you're an after effects expert and you're brilliant with cgi and visual effects then of course this is a bit basic but we're just here talking about an enjoyable accessible technique that most of us will be able to do if we have the right piece of software so we're not looking at pro level stuff here. we're just having a bit of fun so let's not take this too seriously if you do want to take your aerial cinematography seriously don't forget to check out our drone cinematography masterclass a beautiful course fantastic piece of work that's received great great feedback since it was launched a year ago link in the description to that below also if you want a head start with your color grading of your drone footage we have our drone film grades LUT pack links to that below discount codes embedded etc etc stay in touch with us on the channel as always we're having a great time here in the studio producing content stick with us on this journey and we will see you next time on drone film guide